My name is Zach Cleaver and I'm from Bloomington, Indiana and I am a junior at, here at Heidelberg. Uh, Chaz Boba, Brunswick, Ohio. My name is Philip Frazier and I'm from Columbia, Maryland. Uh, I really didn't know anything about Heidelberg before I came on a visit here. Uh, most of it was due to baseball. Aside from baseball, I really like I really want to play baseball now. I like to play football. Aside from that, I mean, the types of classes I would take here and the types of people I met would allow me to grow as a, throughout college and become a better player. Uh, I think the main reason I chose to come here was uh, probably because of baseball. Uh, I honestly didn't know what the this school was prior to baseball. I knew the LAC. I chose Heidelberg uh, because of baseball, but they also have my major. This just hasn't really been a problem for me, so I, it's, hard to, it's hard to get back to uh, here with my family a lot because I am born in Colorado, so I am born in Colorado to drive away. So it is kind of hard to see them, but it's not really too much of a problem because I've, I've had, I have so many good friends here that it, it makes me feel like I'm home when I'm here. I love being here. So it's not, like I said, it's not too bad of a problem, but I do miss seeing my parents. But uh, like I, I play baseball, so when they, they get to come up and see me on the weekends and stuff like that. So uh, it's not too bad, but I would, it would be nicer if it was closer, but it's not too big of a problem for me. Absolutely. Uh, it's really, I'm really fortunate to live so close. I know a lot of my other friends uh, have eight hour, four hour drives. Um, for me, it's only an hour and 15 minutes when I speed because I go fast in my Pontiac G6, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely nice to be close to home. I always see my family. So it was really weird being in such a like different area, but um, I've gotten used to it. It's kind of nice, like uh, change of pace, having living in a different area. I'm so far away. I feel like I'm really on my own, so kind of like it. It was, it's, it was really easy to make friends here. Uh, Being be on the baseball team, I met a lot of guys, uh, and, and we all we all relate because we're all very similar people. So it was really easy to make friends through baseball. Throughout my classes, a lot of the small classes really allow you to meet people and communicate with your professors and uh, your classmates. So it's really easy to make friends through that. Uh, so I, it's been extremely easy. A lot of the people. I know are like me, a lot of people are different, so it's really cool to meet a lot of other people from different states, different places, and become friends with them. It was fairly easy to make friends, uh, especially, you know, playing a sport. I think that uh, all my friends here, well, I have other friends, but mo most all of them are on the team. Uh, we're all really close, uh, we bond very well. Uh, I'm really close with my roommates, uh, John and Zach, oh, and Phil too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm friends with all of them. Uh, but yeah, it was very easy to make friends here. It's been pretty easy. I mean, I'm really good friends with all the guys on the baseball team. And, you know, we go out on the weekend, so make uh, make friends with uh, most of the rest of the campus that way. Yeah, I haven't. Like, I, in my opinion, transferring is like so much work, I feel like, with all the credits and everything. So. I got it. I mean, once I'm here, I might as well get the degree. It, was, it, it, it had to stand out for me, obviously, because it was five. This was obviously the farthest school away from uh, from me, all, from all the schools that I was looking at. So it definitely needed to stand out, and I would probably say that just the atmosphere, all the people I met, really made it uh, what I wanted to. What it really was what I was looking for is all the people. I, was, I wanted it to be a place where I knew I could uh, have have a good time and uh, learn and really grow. So I think that definitely, the atmosphere definitely helped. It's really only down to about uh, this and two other schools. Uh, this one stuck out to me because, well, like I said, the, the coaching staff here for Heidelberg for the baseball team, I enjoyed them. I thought they were really young and I uh, thought they had a lot to offer, plus the history behind the school. 
I thought uh, was really cool, really good uh, to get into, and I was hoping that we'd have the same success in the past. Yeah, uh, I'm a media and sports management major. I don't really know for sure what I want to do with that, but I do think that the program here has really helped me. Um, John Boudreaux was a alum uh, and a communications major here at Heidelberg, and I know they put a lot of uh, time into the communication and media major, so I think coming here, I, all of my professors are really good, and I think that my major is definitely going to help me uh, figure out what I want to do. It's really fun to uh, take all these classes as well. I think that it it definitely is. I think that there's a lot of very qualified teachers here, uh, professors I should say, very qualified professors here that uh, do a great job in the communications field, also sports management field, uh, with Dr. O'Reilly and uh, Dr. Heaton, communications, and uh, Jerry Mack, uh, Kayla Tidrick, who's been very successful in her field as well. I think that they've taught me a lot so far. I think I have a long way to go as well. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. Um, Dr. Woods is a great professor. She's, most, she's my professor for most of my classes, and, uh, and it's undergrad, so that makes sure I get the, the, the degree. Uh, I think that it's it's changing for the better. Uh, academically, I study a lot more than I ever did before. Uh, I still get good grades. I did I get got good grades in high school, but I, I continue to get good grades, which helps me, especially with the hectic schedule that we have for baseball. So. Uh, I definitely think that college has, has made me the man I am today. Yeah, I definitely think uh, I've matured as a person, like, uh, coming here. It's definitely taught me, like, like now, like, even just living in this apartment, like, how to, like, be my own person, how to take care of myself. And, uh, after, after, my four, after my undergrad, I'm going to do the 4 plus 1 program here that they offer to get my MBA. And after that, I really don't know. I, w I might want to uh, try to find an internship with a radio station because I do a, uh, have a radio show here. And I really, I really enjoy it. Maybe get into something with uh, public relations or writing a newspaper or something, something within the media I, I want to do. And uh, hopefully this degree will allow me to do that. Plans after school. Uh, it could be anything. I'm not really sure at this point. I know what I want to do in the very future. Uh, I'd like to have my own uh, sports facility where I can uh, where I can uh, you know teach teach the youth how to play the sport that I love baseball. I also uh, have thought a lot about uh, being on the radio. Uh, I have a radio show here with my co-host Zach Lever. I think that we do a very good job, and uh, maybe we can continue to be successful. Maybe with a podcast or something like that in the future. So it's definitely going to be a journey. We'll, we'll see where life takes me. After college, after I get my degree here at Heidelberg, I just plan on um, pursuing my Mac and my uh, master's of accounting. And then um, once I get my 150 credit hours uh, sitting for the CPA exam, 